to go Oh, you're so pretty for the camera. Are you pretty for the camera? Are you ready to shoot some video? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. Are you? Oh, I promise I'll brush you later tonight. Okay. Oh, you know what? Oh, you're so handsome. Okay, see you. <laughs>everyone welcome back to the Norris show okay everyone first box I haven't opened these you can see through them and I know there's lace and binding and possibly some elastic I don't know you're gonna find out with me this is gonna be fun uh, I inherited all of this from my mother-in-law who was cleaning out her basement and she used to make uh, doll lamps, the ones with the lace skirts and everything. And this is the leftovers of the, that craft project. Anyone who's a long-standing crafter knows that sometimes projects start and then they end. And then you have stuff. And trying to find a good place for it can take a long time. Good boy. Okay, everyone. First box. Let's see what's in it. I have no idea what actual year this would be from. I don't know where it was gotten from. I don't know how you would get it again. I don't think that you could. So this is just, it is what it is. This says 50 yards, but I bet it's not 50 yards anymore. But that is still a significant wheel of lace. Oh, that is really, really pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Is that a whole, oh my gosh. This was 10 cents a yard. That is heavy. Okay, everyone, I want you to start thinking about this. How many yards of lace is this? Okay, it's gonna be your guess. All right, how many yards? According to the top of this, this is Okay, I can't, 444. Oh my gosh. That's really sweet. What are we gonna do with this? Okay, so in the comments below, tell me what I'm doing with all of this. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. What? Oh, that's funny. My husband, my husband brought some of this in with him when we got married. That was in his sewing collection. I remember this. Is this elastic? Oh, yep, yeah, more elastic. Ooh, more elastic. Seems to be in good condition. We're not talking about antiques here, okay? We're talking about not even vintage. Vintage, I don't think at least. Oh, that's, I think that's some um, lingerie elastic. That is pretty. Um, the original, this was Ravel Lace Company, style 89238, and color natural. Um, this whole, this whole wheel should have been 175 yards. We've got about an inch and a half depth. Oh, I hate it when things start coming off on the ends. Okay. All right. Very, very loosely. Okay. I'll rewind that later. That is a lot. 
that seems very similar to this one. So, yeah, that's a lot of yardage. Oh, she must have used the blue one a lot. She must have made some, something from that one. I haven't seen these um, lace patterns before. It's, these are definitely not recent. These are, this is nice. 20 cents a yard. Torn edges. Oh, damaged. It looks fine to me. Wonder if the damage was only on one end. I've got more elastic. This is a very light elastic. This isn't very Oh, that that this is the stuff that you would use on a bra. Like a bra strap. Huh. Sea foam. Well that much I could have told you. And this would be another one of the uh, lingerie laces. That's actually useful. That is a lot. Well, if I ever wanted to practice with elastic, I certainly can now. Wow. Okay. Wonder what's in the rest. How the heck did all of this go in here? That one's really soft. Ooh, and it's thick. I like the pattern on this one. I'm going to do a montage at the end showing everything up close. I would do it while I'm talking, but I think this would take an amount of editing that would actually cut into my sewing time, and I actually don't want to do that, so I'm not going to. Almost looks like the same. None of the needles are none of the needles rusted. So that's that's good. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, this is the same thing. That must have been like a, a separate. And this one says that it has 41 and a half yards on it. I'm tempted to say that with the um with how full it is, that probably is. Correct. Okay. Put this back on. That is really pretty. Um, I would love to make. Well, I just keep on going back to lingerie or a petticoat or something. I mean, I could do a really fancy lace petticoat. Things that are most of the time not made anymore because they're it's just stinking expensive. Um, but I happen to have this, so. Ooh, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I like this. I like that a lot. That's some lovely edging. I bet I could do something very sweet with that. Wow, that's a lot of yellow. I mean, that's yellow. But it is also already ruffled. I mean, I sort of may want to make a yellow crinoline and put some lace at the bottom and be all fancy. Wow, that's listed as two fifty a yard. Oh, and then it's fifty cents a yard eventually. But the point being, I mean, who's going to buy this and make a crinoline when it doesn't even show? But I happen to have it, so I might as well have some fun with it. Yeah, I've got even more. The same? Yeah, that's the same. Mm hmm. My mother-in-law did good sale shopping here. I can see it was multiple. Uh, it was discounted multiple times. Good woman. Woman after my own heart. All right. Oh, that is a. I really like that one. This is not your standard pink, but it's not orangish. Almost feels like a. 
You know, I just plain like it. I like this pink. This isn't some sort of awful pink and it has a, has more of a red feel to it than pink. That, that'll work well. Flesh, heat, life, lift. Yeah, I can't read their writing. They're supposed to be 100 and I'm really having trouble believing this. 141 yards on it. No, that would be about right. Because, you know, that's a yard. And then that 100. That's a lot of lace. This is a lot of lace. You got red lace. That's pretty. That's actually got a really nice top to it. This is not, um, it's encased. Oh, that's fancy. That's a, this is a fancy lace. The top of it is straight up nice. Um, what else is in here? Oh, that would be really pretty. See with the double on that, I'm, I'm actually thinking about um, blousing from the 19, 1920s, 1930s, so, some sort of insert or overlay over something. That's my laundry. I cannot seem to get a quiet house today. I cannot get the phone to stop ringing or any of my appliances to stop singing at me today. It's a very noisy house. Ooh, this is sweet. I like this. That would be absolutely lovely. And there's a lot of it. Wow, there's a lot of this. Th this is an amazing lace haul. This is, this is a stunning, this is stunningly, I mean, it's the size of my head. Ooh, okay. We've got, that's fun. Another one that's already been um, gathered. Wow, this is a lot of lace. That is really, I like the, oh, there, there's the end. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't just slip off. Because this was packed really, really well. Everything's clean, there's no musty smell either. Um, oh, that's, that's just pretty. So seriously, everyone, what am I, what am I making here? Because I never really considered lace until now. And no, I don't want to sell it. I want to sew something. I want to sew lots of things. Okay, I got interrupted yesterday with filming. And I'm not entirely sure where I'm at. Let's see if I can get this all back in the box. Something on the bottom. Ooh. That's really pretty too. I think this one, oh yeah, this one matches the other one on the roll. This, they, there must have been just a little bit left over. Again, the pins are not rusting. You know, that's something that you have to remember. If you pin things closed and then put them in a box and you forget about it, your great-grandchildren are going to de be dealing with rusted pins. This is like the shorter version of that one. I don't think I need to put this in perfect. I'm going to be taking it back out and doing a montage. I'm just going to pile this all up. I don't need to waste my time. All right, I'm going to push this out. One more box. It's in the box. It's in the box. <gasps> oh, that's just... That's so pretty. I've never seen anything. Oh, I like that. That has fine detail. There's a lot. This I recognize. I've seen this design before. Everything else has been very unique to me. 
Well, there's patterns in lace, which makes sense because you probably only have a couple of types of um, lace machines out there because we're not talking about hand knit lace anymore. I mean, none of this, all of this is machined. So, standard eyelet lace. Eyelet lace is always useful. Ooh. Oh, ooh. That is a pretty black. I like that. And then there's some ribbon on this side. That's pretty. Ooh, more eyelet. I'm a sucker for eyelet lace. Oh, that one has hearts. Oh, wow. Now that makes me think lingerie. <clears throat> Used to be a hundred yards. Yeah, that's about right. Ooh, this is a flat lace. I like that. I like that a lot. Not stretchy. That's pretty. Ooh. Oh, I like the color. Oh, wow. Yes, cording. Cords. Micro lays, the tiny little tiny little thin ones. More cording. More cording. I have no idea what I would do with cording. Huh. Oh that really micro mini lace. I wonder what that's called. Ribbon. Tiny, tiny ribbon. Eighth of an inch ribbon. I like that one. I like the, the ovals. There's a lot of variety and design in here. This is not the same thing over and over again by any stretch of the imagination. That's nice too. There hasn't been anything in here that's not nice. That is a pleasant surprise. Ooh, that is a lot. Ooh, that's that's not um, plasticky. Oh, that's a pretty pin. Not rusted. That's good. Ooh. See, there's just a little bit of a heavier quality to that one, and it's not nearly as plasticky. That's that's just. That's got that heaviness. That has a that has a potential of being able to drape. Fold over flexi lace. Ooh. Oh, that, all, that looks like a little mini rainbow with hearts, but it's not. But oh, that's just sweet and cute. Eyelet lace. There's like nothing in here that I was expecting a lot of little things like this. No, we are talking full rolls of lace. This is an insane lace haul. I was not expecting this. I am intimidated, inspired, and I need suggestions. What am I making here? Remember, I do 1920 through 1965 right now. Thankfully, lace doesn't go bad. <laughs> so this will be fine. Oh, that even has that finished edge up top. This is all very nice. Very quality. Oh my goodness. I have more. Is that the same pattern? Yes. Oh my goodness. I have two of these. Oh, that is a lot. 28 yards? That seems... Low. I don't know how many yards I have, but it's a lot. It's badly printed on the end here. I think it's 28 yards. It's from Wilson Laces. Okay, that's the lace haul. I'm going to 
line things up and I'm going to try to do some sort of montage of all the lace that I have. All right. was an unexpected uh, little haul 
huge haul. Thank you, mother-in-law. I'll do something fun. That is a lot of lace. That is a whole new level of option that I have that I didn't have in my sewing closet before. So, and this isn't gonna fit in there, so I'm gonna have to find some room in the basement. I'm sure I can move over my spinning wheel and, and have a lace stash. I'm probably gonna take that blue bin and get the rest of any lace that I already have and pull that out, put it in these bins, and then do a localized thing because um, it's too easy to end up with multiple concepts in different parts of the house when you're dealing with something where you don't have a dedicated sewing area or your sewing area is entirely too small, which is this <laughs> situation I'm in. But I can make it work and it's not a problem. I just need to be very conscientious when I end up with big hauls coming in where it actually goes and that it's actually been placed with the items that I already had with that, such as put all the lace together. So put in the comments what you think I should sew with all the lace. Like any good crafter, uh, I, I've ended up with multiple things happening all at once, so I'm, I get a little confused about where I'm at and what it is that I'm doing, but I believe that the next project that I need to actually finish is my blue pleated skirt uh, from 1931. It fits like a dream, and the only little tiny detail that I keep looking at that I'm not sure if I'm feeling that picky about is that little space right there. Everything else did a pretty good job, actually. You know what, everyone? I'm leaving this because I can see the only one that I got perfect was that one. This is close enough, and if anyone is looking at my skirt that much, that closely, anyway. So, the only thing I need to do, hem, or, or the waistband, and him and then that skirt will be done and I think that needs to be the next episode showing how I got to this point. Uh, happy sewing everyone. Go do good stuff. Stay warm. Drink lots of water. See you next time.